Hey guys, Dr. Cloud here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And today, we'll be making our way to Falbor Town. And hopefully, we can get some decent experience around here. Because um, the last episode ended, and I had caught Bobby here, and I decided that I was going to add him to the team because I just needed more guys in the mix. If you missed that, then I will link the playlist in the description below, and you guys can get caught up on all this exciting action that's been happening in this very, very interesting block. been avoiding most of these trainers because I feel like there's going to be something good I'm going to get really soon and I want to be able to train it up on something. Oh. I tried to predict them, it just didn't happen. Some of these people I really need to fight because they're going to become an annoyance really fast. Especially when I have to run back and heal. So I was looking at where the move deleter is, and I saw that uh, I don't get him until Lily Cove, so it looks like Cut's going to stay on Nancy for quite a little while. I was still going to add strength on just because it's base 80, I'm pretty sure. And that'll give Nancy a really nice, strong move. I honestly don't know I haven't added it yet. Uh, we'll get Scarlet out here. Scarlet needs that XP too. So one thing I definitely forgot about Kabutops is that they don't get the best moves, but they're decent, especially right now, before you get like the physical special split. I don't know what that really did switching into Smoochum. This better not freeze me. Which one is really frail. I should definitely see strength after, after this battle. I'm getting a forget focus energy. Not really doing much good anymore. I'll use it like occasionally, but in reality, I probably should just switch out at that point whenever I know it's not happening. That's super weird, you're trying to grab bandages for him and you grab his poke nose. Like, you can tell the difference between feeling a bandage and a poke nose. There. I did a really good stab move when he turned into a slacking. See what the other encounter in here is. Pretty sure we can't push that yet until we get the next badge. That's still a Kabutops. And see just body it with arm thrust. Please, one of these be a citrus berry. Yes. 
I mean, poison curing berries are always good, you know. Guess I can't be too mad about that. I'm citrus berry for dugong, so recycle is actually decent. Right now, it's just kinda there. I should just fight these trainers, it'll be good. It'll be easy to for what we do already have. Special ones are not bulky. Yeah, strength is gonna destroy us. Oh yeah, just keep trying to yawn me. I'm good with it. Get a crit first time. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better on par now. I just got a little bit ahead of myself uh, when I was training for the second gym. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not starting that. We're not losing anyone today. Gotta stick to that. I'm not ready to lose people. There we go. Okay, I need to move quickly. And if I'm not mistaken, I get the secret power team, I think that is. Yeah, I think that's right. I feel like you have secret power and hidden power. This to me it is, I mean you guys, but... Alright. So I'm gonna throw the question of the day, you guys. So, question of the day, what is one thing that you couldn't live without. So my mind like instantly goes to like basic answers like I can't live without air or food or water, but what is like an actual thing you can't live without? Most of us have like lived without the internet we did find without it. Wow, that did a lot of damage. It's really difficult, actually. I used to be really hard to live with, like, human interaction. I feel like that'd be my thing. So, like, I mind being alone for, like, a while, but at some point I want to interact with other people. And it feels good to do that. It feels good to go see my friends or my family. I don't feel like I could just never see another person. I'd go crazy like, uh, oh, what's that movie, uh, Castaway, where he, like, makes faces on, what well, makes a face on a volleyball. Okay, let's check out what this team is. Something, something good. You blast burn. Okay, it is secret. Yeah, secret power. And he just splits. Okay, something good. <laughs> I was close. Everyone can learn cheer coal. Wow. Just wow. I really don't know what to say to that. I'm pretty sure this is a rest house. So, now let's get this encounter. So I think I have two encounters here today. 
maybe more, depending on how far I get into Falibor Town. But let's see. Raspberries. I remember raspberries too. A little bit curious, actually. Um, Raz. Another uh, uh, Poke Block Berry. I don't need those. I'm not gonna make like a individual series about me making Poke Block and doing contests. I feel like not too many people would watch that. But I guess you the occasional people want to see how well people can do a contest and what the best ways to do those are. But honestly, contests are never something I really got into. Like, I do them to get special items, like in uh, Auras, how they had it. Um, we'll grab this. Grab 113. Okay. Alright, so like, in Auras... Uh, oh wow. Uh, okay. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, please don't crit a grin. That's gonna be super hard to catch. I don't think I have anything that you resist. What, well, you're just Ember. Um, let me take a quick look at everyone. Your attack is actually higher. You're so split. Absorb actually might do the least. But we can see how this goes. But in order as they like kind of forced you to into contests and like had that whole thing with that girl, I can't remember her name, but she had the Altaria. And they kind of forced you to do it. And they also had the I think Lucario Knight that you, you had to do, you had to be mastering contest, I think, to actually be able to get. Which I never really understood why that was. I also don't think I'm gonna be able to catch it out putting it down the red. But I remember, like, to beat, like, the mastering cool contest, I had to take, like, Rayquaza and put, like, the cool scarf on him and have a Mega Evolve for me to win. Because they kept doing. It's like their Pokemon were maxed out in that stat, so they would always get the spotlight before I was able to. Which I always thought that was a dumb mechanic. Why do you give them the, the advantage from the start? I'm about to die if I stay in. Um, let's try to hit this Absorb. I'm only two levels above it, and Absorb is like 20 base power. I actually kind of want to hit it again, but it, it's already in the red. I didn't mean to do that. I better not crit this thing right now. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. I didn't even see the health bar move. Serial so resist everything that thing throw at me. Alright, so the contest I feel like we're just kind of broken, Nora's. I feel like they're like more balanced. Uh, whenever they first had him out in Ruby and Sapphire, and then continuing on Emerald, but I feel like it was just well balanced, and then they kind of broke it a little bit. And you can't force someone to have to do it through a story, because then they just don't want to do it. You're not really solving an issue there. It's making people not want to do it. Can I please catch this thing? Like, I don't want to throw my Ultra Ball yet, I want to save it. I'm of throwing out some Pokeballs right now, just so I can get lucky. Because I've had the Latios encounter to begin. Now I really want to get this thing. Because I am ready to just, like, throw Nuzleaf off the team, just... Bye! Get out of here. 
I don't mind having two fire types if one of them's an Entei and the other one's a Blaziken. On the plus side though, Entei's Leer is completely pointless thanks to Bite being special. I'm sorry guys, this pull up so is going to end up being catching this Entei, but Entei's just so cool. Plus it makes me think of like the uh, Pokemon Movie 3, whenever like Entei was a figment of the unknown's like powers and that little girl's imagination. And you know, Charizard vs Entei fight was actually crazy. And Charizard probably would have won if it wasn't for Entei being able to control spiked uh, crystals. Even though it was a dreamscape, I definitely think Charizard would have won. This is not working at all. This is why it's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs. So when you do run into this legend, you actually can catch it. If I had a Master Ball, I probably still wouldn't throw it at Entei. Entei's not, like, an amazing legendary, but he is pretty good. If it was, like, a Rayquaza or, like, a Kyogre, I would definitely be throwing it right now. I just don't see Entei as a fantastic Pokemon. I mean, his design is definitely, like, on it. Like, his shiny is so good. Pretty sure shiny, like, gets, like, black. He His, like, light mustache turns, like, black, I think. I know they did the Zoroark Arc movie. They showed shiny versions of them, and they pretty much all look good. I thought Raikou's a little lackluster, because I think all they did was change, like, his bluff color. You know, his, like, mane. really want to catch this thing. You're toying with my emotions, Entei. I don't feel like absorbing him at this point is really even going to do anything, so... Like, just throwing balls is where I'm at. I'm really doing like 3 damage to me in time. On. You were rolling more in Pokeballs. You know, I'm looking at like his legs. Are those supposed to be like shackles on his legs? Like, what are those supposed to be? Oh, that's like his enslavement to Ho-Oh. That would be kind of crazy. If they all had that, it's like, you are my uh, underling minion dogs and you follow my orders. That'd be like only if all of them had it, but the other two don't. That'd be kind of crazy. Like you get through an entire storyline in probably a ROM hack where you have to free them from ho -Oh. Rather than having like an evil team, you'll have a good team that's like helping you out, try to free the dogs from ho -Oh's control. Can this stop rolling twice? That sounds like an awesome ROM hack. Like, you could connect with one of them, one of the dogs, depending on which starter you ended up choosing. That sounds so good. Why, why is this not being made right now? Probably doubt I'm going to catch it, but I, I just can't stop throwing balls at it, honestly. I've already come too far. I really am sorry I'm wasting the entire episode trying to catch this Entei, but it would be so worth it if I can catch it. I mean, I've got harder things. Like, I remember... No. In a lot of playthroughs, I get Growldons, and I always seem to have a Master Ball to catch those. Maybe I'll get lucky in this one and get a uh, Growldon. Uh, whenever I go to catch the Legendary. Which I think you can do after you do the main story stuff. It's 
He's just toying with my heartstrings and it hurts. I'm really lucky he hasn't been critting me. Can you stop with this one wiggle stuff? Alright, I have three balls left. Come on. Just just give me that three. Give me that three. Nope. Three balls, three wiggles. Come on. I'm getting kind of in dangerous range here, though. I don't like it. Alright, I'm down just to the Ultra Ball. Okay. I hate catching legends so much. You really can do like everything they tell you to do, you know? Lower their health to the red, give them a status condition, but it doesn't matter. It really just doesn't matter. Because legends just have such a high catch rate. And I forgot I haven't fought her. They have such a high catch rate that you can't even catch them when you do they when you do everything right that you're supposed to do. And that's what's so dumb about that mechanic. Like, all the basics of Pokemon tell you to do don't matter. You can go and catch a Pokemon in a Pokeball at full health. I mean, all you have to do is... Um... Gosh. That's annoying. Um... All you have to do is have enough poke balls and you'll catch it. And thank you, Nancy. You have to deal with more poison things. She's done with it too. I mean, Nancy did weaken it down, so I understand why she's done with it. Why is there no new Entei on the team? Oh yeah, because it just did not want to get in the ball. Please don't die, Nancy. Slave board and pick up more soda pops. Or maybe I'll just buy super potions, I don't know. I go so side when the time comes. Oh, another Celio? You know, I was thinking, like, so currently my mascot is Polyrath, and I was thinking, I really like Breloom. Breloom's just such a cool looking Pokemon. Besides, like, the lack of arms. It reminds me of plant like T-Rex. Like, I have a big head and little arms. Not sure what was planned was thought through. That's how I feel like whenever we're trying to use any kind of uh, punching attack that just has such little arms has to get so close range to actually be able to hit anything. Well, I hope I'll make it to, uh, Foul of War today. That's my goal right now. If I don't take all the detours, I'll definitely make it. Alright. Let's go to Foul of War. Yay! Actually, just real quick. I do have the mock bike, so. And there's a trainer down here. Yep. I'll just kind of... No? There we go. Oh. I thought there was like an item over here or something. I'm 
feel like a hidden item. I do not know where it is. We can travel board. Now, out of curiosity, you want to see what else I can get besides Entei? See if I actually could have got it. Yeah, yeah, I know you're here. But what else? Yes, what else is here though? Stop mocking me. I get the rougher repellent to get through this, but I want to know what else is here. Oh my gosh, Entei, leave me alone. You know, watch me find the shiny Entei and not have any boss catch it. calling right now. Apparently nothing else lives here besides Entei. Which is kind of funny that it does live here because it is like right near a volcano. I'd say it better not be a master ball. Did everything here get randomized to Entei? Seriously. Oh my gosh. Something else has to live here. Eh, I mean, revenge isn't bad. Okay, no, seriously. What else lives here? I guess nothing else lives here. I thought like a couple different things lived here normally, but I guess they're all in tank. Okay, don't really need healing. So let me try to get this next encounter always have just a little bit of time because I kind of want to have something good to say about today. But generally, I don't think I'm actually going to need Sheer Cold, so I'm just going to sell it. And what does Revenge do? Um, oh, it's actually really good. She too can learn that. More than likely, I'll be able to catch this encounter. Let me just check real quick who can learn revenge. Slowpoke. Okay. Okay. Let's get this encounter. And while I'm already going over there, I'll pick up a couple items. move tutor, which I do not have a heart scale, so I know I can't do anything with him. I'll check the TMs after I get the encounter, because I want to see if this new thing that I get can learn it, if it's good enough. Because I am really just ready to... No... That's... That's actually great, okay. Pretty sure he's grass. Nope. There's grass. Okay, here we go. There's grass around here somewhere. Okay. Counter is swallow. I mean. 
I don't have a flying dive, I can use swell. Yeah. Thank you, Swallow. Now you lowered my attack, and that should be fine. Should definitely be able to catch you. It <sighs> okay. We're gonna make this little longer episode, and we're gonna go get this other encounter. In, uh, Meteor Falls, I think it is. I wouldn't mind it a Loudred either. Loudred isn't bad. Especially Exploud isn't bad. Okay. I probably should just switch to someone else to do my encounters because Nancy's just too strong. Ooh, look at that, another thing to sell. I know there are a couple people you, you have to fight because they just are facing that way. I just really want to get like one encounter. Like it's not a lot to ask for, honestly. Okay, um... And for a fact, I'm pretty sure for a fact that Regice still has explosion. So I guess I'm really hoping for a confusion right now. And there it is. Oh, okay. Okay. P please, please. Please, Scarlet, you, you, you're fine. Oh my gosh. Can we stop? I just want to get my encounter. Oh my goodness. Great. Oh my goodness. Like you can survive at least one attack. Oh, cool! I'm faster. It actually, would have been fine. I just thought that Alexander would be faster than uh, Nancy. I bet that's going to help this Azura a lot get through this next little bit. Oh my gosh. Wow, that Azura experience got him to 20. I'm just going to leave the XP share on him for now. Well, maybe not, actually. Let's get blown back. Okay. Get this encounter. Please something decent. Please. I'm not asking for that much. Something decent I can catch. Something decent I can catch. That's okay with the swallow, come on. Okay. I I'm fine with Eevee. Eevee's fine. 
I know Eevee has a high catch rate, but... Okay, I need to switch to no sleep. I'll just pick it out. It's gonna be fine. I got this. Okay, that's fine. I don't have to do a lot to this thing. Good. Do absolutely nothing, that's fine. I honestly don't care. Just don't crit it. So I, apparently I have incredibly terrible luck with critting my encounters. Minus Entei, which obviously that was because it was Nentei. I might have to switch out and switch back in. This accuracy thing is going to get really annoying. Okay, I think one more pound will do it. It's fine, it's fine. CB hasn't even tried to attack me, which kind of worries me that it doesn't have an attacking move, but I think it has to. Thank you. Okay, now I just have to catch a CV. I have 30 great balls. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. An Eevee has an unsustainable genetic makeup that suddenly mutates due to its environment. Radiation barrier stones cause Pokemon to evolve. Alright. If you enjoy if you guys enjoyed this extended video, please like and subscribe and if you wish to know when these videos go up, then I will link my Twitter in the in the description below. And just before we go, I'm going to let you guys know what these TMs are. Uh, Poison Tail and Meditate. Alright, have yourselves a good day and I will see you next time.